2021 was an extremely challenging uh, year for the examination committee. We had a uh, need of changing quite a lot of personnel, both from the staff point of view and from the members of the committee. Despite the quite serious uh, uh, restrictions in relation to the pandemic, we succeeded to uh, raise the standard of the exam compared with uh, the previous year. This year we had a plain sailing, no problems whatsoever, despite a record number of 3,000 candidates that they were registered for part one. We succeeded to run all 18, which is a record number of exams for the part two without any glitches. Ola is used in many countries. Some countries, uh, they just recommend to use Ola for the training of their residents. And some countries, for example, uh, the Netherlands, Moldova and Argentina, uh, they are adopted Ola as the national examination in anesthesiology and intensive care. One of the recent developments of OLA is the organization of the home online assessment, OLA. The candidates can take uh, the HRLA in their homes. In this year, the first HRLA was run successfully with uh, more than 1,000 candidates. In, in general terms, our plan for 2022 is to solidify the uh, relative success of the 2021. We have to accommodate the increasing success of part one with expanding the part two, especially in Europe, but also worldwide. So we will have potentially 20 centers in seven languages with uh, almost 1,500 candidates in 2022. And uh, we expect our new team, both from the doctor's point of view and the staff point of view, to continue uh, carrying the flag of SAIC representing with pride and honor our exam.